Hey guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles. Holding on to my head because it's about to rain and we have five minutes here to run through the exterior. We are on board of a brand new model, hall number one of North Haven that you've been asking us for and we're gonna check it out right now. Welcome on board of North Haven 80, hall number one. We get to show you an all detail exclusive tour. Come with us. Got a fairly large swim platform. Yep. Nice staples. And it kind of wraps around in the shape yeah. here. You also get a good idea of the size of the, the beam. And of the, of the beam, yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's do this quickly before it rains on us. All right. Okay, come on up. So we're going to go all the way forward real quick. Okay. We have our weather doors here. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. yep. Right here. Heavy weather, heavy seas, rain. You just close these up, keep the cockpit dry. These will fill right here side door and then on this side we can go all the way up forward oh it's start to rain ah! it is yeah come oh. on one so level up we have pilot portuguese bridge <laughs> portuguese bridge exactly here's our pilot house oh this is great tons of storage here and serious door coming forward and we're on our bow and you've got about one minute to do the bow tour so go. we have another David Crane here, yep. 1500 pounds capacity steelhead. And then we have our anchor lockers right here. Two anchors, two bow anchors, our anchor winches, remote controls. Beautiful walkway forward. Yeah, really nice. <laughs> and if you pull these out, there's our anchor storage and anchor locker, plus line storage or fender storage as well. Ta da! It's pouring. Let's go in the interior. <laughs> okay. So this is where we'll end. So we can't go this way. We have to come back around. Correct. But okay. here's another yeah. side door. Correct. And then um, we have a wing station right here for docking. Going back around to the starboard side. I feel like we're being forced to see the interior, which I'm okay with. Yeah, right. <laughs> I've been looking forward but to this, is this, this is comfortable. It's, it's really nice. Yeah. Of definitely. course, another helm, another wing station here on the starboard side, equaling the one on the port. Everything you need right here for docking and visibility is great. Oh, they're really close here. You feel proper on this Portuguese bridge for sure. Let's go back. And check out the cockpit because we just ran through it. I know. <laughs> you gotta roll with life, you know? Sometimes life gives you rain and you gotta roll with it. Yeah, so right. a large dining table for a fresco dining. This space is actually really long here. Because it's, you know, normally I would kind of think it'd be here, but yeah. this, you feel like you gain a little extra space here. You actually have a barbecue down here. We have drink fridge right here and probably some storage down here. Yep, good size storage. Additional storage. storage. Yeah, exactly. We have a stern station here for, for docking or easy docking. Cool. Can you pull that spring one more time for me? Thank you. So I thought this was open, but it's not. The scuppers? Yeah, they're actually well, they're, scuppers. Yeah, they're, they will be, I mean, if. A lot of water needs to drain yeah. out. You can open them or close them. Right now they're closed, but if you have heavy weather, you would open them up. Yeah, so they'll just oh, flap. Yeah, they'll just flap around like yeah. that, and then you can lock them in place if you need to. And that's all along. If you take huge heavy waves over the bow, the water needs to go somewhere. So you want to make sure that it can drain overboard as soon as possible. Let's check out the interior. Let's do it. All right, coming into this Dutch door. Yeah. Which is quite interesting. Oh yeah, that's really cool. You normally don't really see that as your entrance door to the salon to, to have a Dutch door here. Usually you see it on the side. So that's that's kind of cool. I like that. And of course you can really button down the hatches and tighten it up on multiple spots. Is it really button? Like a button. I thought it's a different word. No, I think it's, I think that's, it's, where, that's it's where it comes from. Word, no? We're gonna, we're gonna go with Anyways, this. welcome okay. to hole number one of the North Haven 80. Yes, you guys have been asking for it. So here you go, we're here. So they went with dark, classic wood colors, uh -huh. light furniture, nice and contrast. Of course, it's a choice. Anybody can decide on what colors and stuff they can do on a semi-custom yacht. So this was the owner's choice. There's a TV lift right here. Yeah, single um, sofa and then a couple of loose chairs around. I think the windows gotten larger on the new model. Yeah, they do look pretty big. Mm -hmm. the good size windows. And then there's something very unique, actually. <laughs> yes, it's an elevator. It's a one person elevator. That's really cool. So this is definitely an owner's decision. 
because there's no way it comes in every North Haven 80. But how interesting is that? So if you have mobility issues and you want to go between all the decks, it's it's fantastic. So you could do that. You could actually put that in here. And it doesn't even obstruct or look gigantic or anything. It's pretty pretty cool. Very compact. Very compact, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not big enough for a wheelchair, but I'm sure you probably could do that if you wanted to. And then considering we're on a true tri-deck yacht yep. plus flybridge, yeah, if you get up in age a little bit, then maybe, you know, walk up going upstairs or going downstairs is not that much of fun for me for you anymore. It's a great option. Very interesting. Okay, so we are coming into the dining area it's uh, right now set up for four but obviously it's really large oversized chairs so it could be it could be bigger here you could sit more people here there's like a sort of almost like a coffee bar mm -hmm. station here what's in here oh some storage some drawers definitely beautiful woodwork very nice and on this side you actually have the bar all your bar utensils a bunch of drawers here that you put stuff in glassware is up there and then here on the head side we do have a wine fridge right there exactly i was looking for it i'm like it must yeah. be somewhere around here what's this just extra storage i'll probably end up using it for the bar it's actually preset for shelves just no shelves in it but you can oh, put some it. shelves in yeah then then we have a port side door here which goes out to the side deck also a dutch door so you could open these two door two dutch doors up to create some fresh cross breeze like mm -hmm. in California would be definitely something you would do for sure. Yeah. Here, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe in January. Oh, oh. So they're definitely implementing a lot of storage. It is a long range cruiser. So you definitely want to have as much storage as possible to make sure you can survive when you're out there with everything you need, different seasons as you cruise. So of course you got to be able to have and have a lot of storage Totally here. agree. Is that just a servicing? option here um, or is it let's open it up let's take a look at it yep yeah okay cool that's where all your guts are for all the tv and satellite and so on for the lift so we're gonna do this a little different because north haven's layout is a little different so we're gonna try to go down below first and check out the guest cabins and then we do the galley and master exactly all right let's go I'll down follow you definitely beautiful woodwork here you know? Oh, ah, look at that. That's that really is, cool. I believe a free, yeah, it's a freezer. That's really interesting. Just an extra overflow. Using every cavity to, speaking of that, air yeah, conditioned servicing, which is pretty conveniently located. The galley looked massive. I'm interested to see the refrigeration because they felt like they needed to put one more. Again, long range cruiser. Midship, yeah. like literally midship, <laughs> right? It's your laundry area. Yeah. We're on the port midship side, just so you guys understand where you are. So we have a mealy, wash and dryer, separate units, check, check. Good little space here to wash your hands as well because you're right next to the engine room, which you're gonna check out later. And here. Massive. You do like this. Electrical panel. Look at this. Yeah, so we have a big switch hour over here for shore ship power you know one generator to another generator inverter all the breakers the high voltage and low voltage breakers are actually on this side so we got our dc panel here got our ac panel here easy to see what it is everything is labeled so i feel yeah, like if you're it. a captain in this yacht this should be a test you should be able to find the switch within like five seconds three seconds what do you think three seconds and you just it's, it's like a quick test Galley hood vent, boom, da, 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 boom, 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 boom. It's like 90% out of 100 to pass. What do you think? Yeah, after being on the boat maybe for a little bit, you know. Well, that would be the whole point. You have to learn. Yeah. Because if it's, there's a lot of switches. And if you have like an emergency situation, you gotta know where things are. All right. Of course, a little stooping here, but no, we're gonna check that no, out later. No, no, But okay, there is an entrance to the engine room from here, which is a nice and proper entrance. And then we have two gas cabins on this layout. There are different layouts in the North Haven 80, and this owner opted in for a three stateroom layout, two guest cabins on deck master. Okay. So we're gonna go to the port side. port side. I don't know the VIP, I mean, they're all kind of guest large. Cabin. Yeah, the, I don't think there's a really, uh, maybe, maybe VIPs over there. Yeah, this is a guest cabin. So what do we have here? We have some storage in our nightstands. Again, like beautiful cab cabinetry for sure. Yeah, the wood continues throughout. So yeah. it's just very classic with inlet lock. Look, good size hanging locker, cedar lined, mm -hmm. big size TV. And an ensuite, right? Oh, we have 
tons of storage actually. Oh yeah, there are four uh, drawers. The I'll open one up for you guys. And they're all soft closing, right? If you push it close, yeah. Yep, they are. And then we come into the ensuite. Good amount of counter space. Of course, I will open stuff up. Oh yeah, it's really deep. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and we have like one, two, three, four, five drawers. So very nice. And I see there's also a medicine cabinet. Yeah, lots of space. Pretty good for the bathroom. Feel feel on the en suites is definitely like a high-end hotel. Yeah, I think so. Looks very good. They did yeah. a good job here. I like beautiful the... floor. Yeah, that looks really nice. Well, these doors are nice and solid. What do you think? Two person shower? One two, and a half? Two person shower. Mm, I think maybe one. It's a one, two person shower. Half. Very nicely designed. It's a very friendly two person shower. <laughs> I have to wash each other. And then I don't know if you saw this, but there are even drawers here. Oh yeah, there are drawers right there. And there's a little bit of a courtesy lighting there on the bottom too. So now we're going to our starboard side. And this is the VIP just because it is a much larger bed. It's a king size. King size bed. So the same type of setup. We have really nice, but even larger drawers. We gotta go that way first. Again, TV. And beautiful ensuite. Really nice ensuite. Pocket door. Oh wait, that's different. How does that work? Wait, wait, I wanna see it. Is it a button? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a little loud. Well, that's all, you can also cut a cigar with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, tons of storage. Not gonna open it up. It's a lot of boat to go through. So I have a very limited window here at the boat show. But as you guys can tell, same thing. It's really deep. And it goes all the way in here. There's no medicine cabinet in the mirror. And it's actually right here. That's a huge shower. And as you guys can tell, there was no need on this vessel to save on weight. Yeah, there's a lot of marble here. Wow. And this is a ginormous okay. This shower. is a really good two-person shower. Three-person shower. Oh boy. Somehow it's getting, the, the sizing is changing. Well, I'm losing is weight. I'm walking a lot here at the boat show. <laughs> anyway, well, this is a, a lot of room here. A really nice big bench. Great shower. Very nice. Yeah, so if you have some serious seas and you really want to take a shower, you've got plenty of room to sit down. I think a lot of people don't realize why you would have a bench in the shower, but you will, you will use it on a long-range cruiser for sure. Like, it gets rough and you want a shower, You'll Even though these bolts are not really moving that much, but yes, well, if you're in mm -hmm. really heavy, heavy rough weather. Rough is rough, right? Yes. Okay, there is rough and then there's rough. Now let's show you this. Oh wow, that's a walk-in closet. It's a really, really good size walk-in closet. So you can actually get dressed in here. I love this here. There's a safe in here and of course some drawers and you can put extra shelf or something if you wanted to. This is a really cool like walk-in closet. All right, let's go forward. And also used as a walk through with a watertight door here, mm -hmm. ball pad right here. Yeah. Into a technical area, which of course also has access from the exterior. Of course. The bow. As you, you guys remember, you gotta have two, you know, an exit and entrance, you gotta have two for every cabin. So would this be an escape hatch for this cabin? Or is, Probably. Or, yeah, right? Okay. Probably an escape so as well. So this is a lot of room. I mean, it's almost like a workshop in here, it's so big. It is. We have tons of shelving here. Shelving there on the starboard outboard side. There is a fire suppression system as well as a fire extinguisher mounted here and another one mounted there. So we have a um, water maker inlet is right here. So this is part of the water maker system as well as these large filters here and a ginormous water heater. And they have a headhunter system on board as well. Oh, the headhunter treatment, black water treatment. Mm -hmm. Then again, water maker right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, you gotta have redundancy, right? Yeah, we get more um, membranes there from the water maker. Have grey water pump right here. Two grey water pumps actually. This looks like a massive manual bilge pump. Here's the handle for emergency situations. I mean, what in the world? And then there's another bulkhead and a watertight door. And we can actually look at our bow thruster and the bow thruster tunnel all the way in the front there, which is hydraulic. If I'm not mistaken, the bow thruster has 50 horsepower. I think the stern thruster is 35 horsepower. This space feels like a museum. You know, you walk through and there's like, this system is this and this system is that. I mean, it's all like separate and organized. I've never seen anything like that. It's very interesting. It's definitely a, a 
a different way of doing it. So normally with a lot of other yachts, we'll have this in the um, engine compartment. Yeah, engine compartment or lazarette. Here it's all the way forward. Then we still have another bulkhead there, which we saw from the outside. Um, there's another access for the anchor and the anchor chain and so on. So there's a lot of forward space here. And here, look at the hole shape. It's pretty mm -hmm. interesting actually, how you see how the, the, the bow of the Nordhaven 80 is shaped. But I mean, the fiberglass is finished and everything. It's nothing exposed. Everything is bilge coated and uh, properly finished. It's very unique. I'm kind of fascinated because I've never seen anything like it. All right, let's keep going, right? Yeah. We now gonna go up to the galley. And? The primary. And the primary is there. All right, welcome to the galley. Well, welcome to the day hat, which is oh, first hey. of all here. Hey, I missed the day hat. Wait, wait. Day hat. <laughs> right off the galley. It's it's on the starboard side. It's great access from everywhere. It's, it's really nice to have For sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, welcome, welcome to, the galley. to the galley of Nordhaven 80. Welcome to the Miele coffee maker. <laughs> so, wow. These are very large. Sub-zero. Wow. They're serious and they felt the need to put another one down there that we saw. So because if you want to really do some long-range cruising, you want to have enough refrigeration space. It's very, very smart. You got a pantry. They put a grill in here to, I guess, let it air out. Oh, and I love this drawers. So you see they all lock in place? Yeah, exactly. All and the drawers are lockable. Yeah, this is convenient. Really Instead good of a shelf. Like this pantry. Like it I a like lot. the locking system too. It's simple, but it works. Yeah, and you know that's not going to break on you. As we keep coming for what's here? Also something with a grill. Air conditioning. Ah, okay. Access. We've got tons of drawers. Let's all open one up just to see the... And wow. The deep. Yeah, really, really deep. deep. Nicely finished on the inside again, like all the drawers, all the cabinetry is beautiful on the inside. So you have some overhead storage, but it's not too low. It's nicely, nice to be able to see. Then you have a partition. Why you keep stealing my thunder? You can close it up if you want to have privacy. In the salon, you can close it up. You have a door right here. You have this. If you have a chef working here and it would like to have their own space, and that would be a great way to do that. If you own an operator and, um, you want to entertain, it's kind of nice. You just open it up and you're in the middle of the conversation. You know what else? Even if you own an operator and everyone's sleeping, I mean, this boat is probably really quiet because it's, well, it's lit and everything, but also you can close this up, close this up, and you can actually be somewhat loud in the kitchen. Let's say two people are up and they don't want to be loud in here. Sure, they sure. can have a conversation here, make breakfast and not really bother anybody. For sure. We have a microwave oven right here, trash compactor, great size sink with a garbage disposal. It's either a sink or a bathtub for a baby. <laughs> so let me let me ask you something. We never talked about this. Do you like two sinks or one sink? We never discussed oh, that's this. That's a good question. Would you rather have a large sink like this or would you rather have two sinks? I think I'd rather have a large sink like this and then just like a like a drip area next to it or something like you you know could be something you just put next to it. You can put your well, or like dishes. this because there there are like larger versions like this, yes. of this, and now they make really cool ones. They're like this big, so, and so you can drive answer it would there. be one large one. One large sink. Me too. Because big pots and everything. Like if the sink is not big enough. That's why we married. Yeah. Okay. Hang keep on. Going. Oh, there's more. What? Hey, there's a really important part of marriage: dishwasher. Mila dishwasher. More storage up above. They have this little space here for your oils and sauces, whatever you want to put up here. Interestingly, they have a little dinette in here or like a Breakfast small, nook. yeah, a little, little, or even just being able to just sit here and prep for the day, like what you're going to do. Or if you want to be out of the way from the guests as crew, yeah, you just have your little breakfast snack right here. I like and, that. And um, you're not, in, you're not interfering. Not seen that before. Very interesting. I'm wondering that was owner's choice. If you don't use it as a breakfast nook or anything yeah. for the chef, he has more prep area. If he wants to just put a dish down for a moment and good you know. point. A really good size oven. Yep. Drawers on all sides. Melee induction cooktop. Three, two big burners here. Everything's melee. We have a hood on top of it. And wait, and we're yeah. done. And one thing we forgot, we there did? is a direct entrance from the side deck oh, yes. to bring in all your groceries and provisions or bring your trash out. You don't need to go through the guest area. And through the salon or... Correct. Yeah. And BBL list. 
<laughs> I have to have that. If you're gonna cruise, mosquito screens. Yeah, if you're yes. gonna cruise anywhere with mosquitoes, this is gonna make or breaks your vacation. That's how sure. I look at it. And it should be easy like this. So Just simple. Easy. Yeah, I mean, you will have one or two people walk walk into it, but that always happens. <laughs> Put some hearts on it or something yeah. or whatever. All right, let's All right. check out the primary stateroom. Wait, wait, before we go there, there's more. No oh. storage area. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? Almost, there's no light. Yeah, there's gotta here. be light here. Yeah, perfect. It's almost like a linen closet, so uh -huh. I think it is. Mm -hmm. Very convenient. Great, for like cleaning supplies. And we're coming into an on deck master full beam, king size bed. This is really nice. Large windows, even we, though we have the blinds closed right now, I can see it in the camera. We're pretty much all the way forward when it comes to the cabins. I mean, it's not completely all the way forward, of course, but it's uh, it's pretty far forward here. Yep. And it's got a great amount of room. Good size TV. All right, let's open some stuff up. I really like this here. It's a proper this office. This is a proper office here. So we still have our windows, which are obviously covered right now. I really like this desk setup because if you spend longer periods of time on board, yeah. which you will if you buy a long range cruiser, I mean, that's, that's the, the whole, whole point, that's all point yeah. of it. Having a proper desk, I think is crucial. Tons of drawers. There's no way I'm going to open all of them up, you guys. Yeah. They have an open shelving here, which is, uh, proves to you that this boat must be pretty stable or you wouldn't have an open shelving here. We got two overhead hatches, yes. um, which are closed right now, but there's natural light potential. A hanging locker wardrobe with some shelves. Yep. And we have a Fusion stereo head unit mounted here and a Furuno multifunction display so you can see what's going on even if you're in the stateroom. Very large hanging locker. Yes, very large. Drawers in the bottom here. We have a settee to be able to just get ready and have an extra space, drawers everywhere. Again, open shelving here as well. Good size TV behind Rico. Small step up. To go into an ensuite. Wow, so it's got dual sinks, but completely split space. As you can tell, this would be my space. Yep, you can have the larger counter top. That's <laughs> and perfect. And this fine. would be Rico's space. <laughs> Still plenty of room, but yep. it's, I think it's really fair. And we also have some medicine cabinets here. Some open shelving things here as well. Mm -hmm. Tons of storage underneath. Tons, you guys, really a lot. All of it has storage. You'll never fight for, for space in here. Looks like someone might have showered, so I'm not gonna go in, it's probably wet. But I'm gonna say it's a two-person shower. And then a completely separate head. You like that. With a separate door. Yep, that's what you gotta have. Is this access? No, that is nuts when they just use up all the space they can. And then again, another. <gasps> no way! What? A combo unit? I don't know. Wait a minute. That's also storage. Storage. Huge storage. So or you... your hamper. Yeah, or your hamper, exactly. And then you have a combo unit here, yeah. Brilliant. Good idea. Yeah, just for your own personal stuff that you wanna just throw in. Yeah, we would totally use it. Okay. Where are we going next? Let's go up to the Sky Lounge slash Pilot House. Okay, let's do it. Okay, we have a Sky Lounge all out to herself. Beautiful, oh, they continue the, the width all the way through the boat. Feels very bright and airy up here. Good size windows, the TV lift is here blocking some so of these like, windows. So like it would be my boat, a second <laughs> coffee maker, <laughs> very important. It's actually a great entertainment bar here. Another microwave. A sink. Uh, and refrigeration. See. Yeah. Cool. I would lay that out similarly. Also, if you're on long cruises, it's a quick walk from the pilot house behind. Just make yourself a coffee, warm up some food, get a drink. I agree. That's pretty pretty neat to be able to have that. It's just storage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. This almost looks like so this would be a drink fridge or something. See, this is why you open stuff. This is an ice it's maker. An ice maker right there. Yeah. Very so it's cool. a full bar. Yeah, good for entertaining. And we have the choice of loose furniture, which makes it feel very homey. It's got a really good vibe, so you want to be in this space. Huge <laughs> sliding doors. Yeah, large sliding doors to the boat deck or the back deck. Elevator brings us up here. Such an interesting, cool feature. We have a day head up here as well. Which you really want to have um, because that's the day head the captain would use, the crew would use on long ranges. So you have two day heads, one yes. on each deck. Pretty cool for an 80 footer. I agree. Okay, and then 
another locker here. You know, it's good for like we like weather, weather gear. gear. Yeah, you will have jackets and stuff in different climates. Makes sense. And then keep going forward to our pilot house. This is a great size pilot this house. This is a massive pilot yeah. house. Yeah. Definitely a nice command center up here. We have some storage here on the port side. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's storage everywhere. Yes. Behind you. Everywhere. There's uh, still like chart drawers if you want to have paper charts, mm -hmm. depending where you're cruising in the world. This is not a high-low table. I'm sure that was a choice. You probably could do a high-low table and be able to put a cushion in here and actually take a nap here if you wanted to. Yeah, would be a great spot actually. Mm -hmm. So then we have two, I mean, one helm chair and a secondary, a little bit offset to the port side. We have a very large helm wheel and then we have four multi-function displays with surveillance and uh, night vision cameras. I mean, anything of electronics you have, sonar, radar, you can obviously select and put anything on any monitor, whichever way you would like it. I'm just wondering how big are the screens gonna get in two years? I mean, it's just, yeah. it doesn't end. Like, how much larger do you wanna true, see the true, map? True, true, Shift throttle control right here. We have our anchor windless control right here. Horn button, love to press it actually. We have our rudder here, we have a second helm here, which is also your autopilot. Then our thruster controls, bow thruster, stern thruster, which are hydraulic. Another autopilot unit, flare camera, windshield wiper control, searchlight. And then for the PC, our keyboard. And then we go overhead. Not as simple little, as down here. <laughs> give you a little, like, you know. Preview. Preview. Uh, we got a lot of stuff up here actually. So the boat is outfitted with Simrad and Furuno for redundancy, the way it looks to me. We got our uh, fire suppression systems right there, all kinds of monitoring systems, an ICOM VH uh, VHF radio. We have a second one mounted over there. Our rudder indicators, our John Deere engine monitors and key switches, same like the generator. Then moving over, other main engine, starboard main engine, starboard generator, and more electronics. And then our fuel management here, where you can open and close valves, hydraulic system, more monitoring of tankage and pump monitors, as well as over there, the black water. And here, to continue that, you've got some switches. More low voltage switch panel here and breaker panel mostly connected to the navigation equipment and the stabilizers as you can see like everything is labeled properly the flare camera vhf so everything is on a regular conventional breaker which that would be my choice i trust the old school breakers more than a fancy ipad so we have dutch doors on both sides you can open up and it's interesting they chose to go with the white ceiling here quite a few different explorers we've seen uh, with, usually go with a dark black ceiling at least in the forward part so you have a little bit less of um, a glare right a glare on the screens yeah i feel like that also could have been a, an owner's choice to do that to keep it bright i understand it but i think practicality wise i'd probably go for dark huh yeah me too shall we check out the flybridge yeah Welcome to the flybridge. Wow, they have a jacuzzi up here. Yes. A hot tub. Sorry. I don't know what it is, so we're just going to yeah. say hot tub. It's a hot tub. Then we have nice li layout cushions right next to it. Pretty large. Is this storage underneath? Uh -huh. Yeah. Really deep. So we have full walk around capability here, which is pretty cool. I mean, if you're sitting in that hot tub, the view is going to be insane. Yeah, it's going to be pretty nice. We're high up here. So we have a barbecue, a large a electric large grill. grill. Yeah. Is it electric grill? You guys keep telling us what it is i can't learn this this is very a very hard. large hot top oh it looks like almost like tackle drawers a and a drink fridge here okay okay and on this side we'll probably just have tons of storage more storage for like your cushion covers and so on so as we come forward we have two this very large seating areas cool this is more like a dining area with yep. a proper table and then on the starboard side you have more like a lounge coffee table setup yeah and all the furniture is really low so it's, the views are unobstructed and your hard top it, it feels taller because of it because the I furniture agree. is low because i mean it's not that tall yeah it's, you know it's not like eight feet or something but because of the way the furniture is set up it does feel a lot this is a lot great wider. and feel the breeze wow. up here wow we're gotta, so high up i gotta hold my hat so then again here we have a helm station on the flybridge which is pretty cool you're so high up i mean that's what i would drive the boat from i think you know for shorter distances amazing visibility look how high up you are yeah that's amazing anyways so everything you need up here we have two multi multi-function displays of course your rudder indicator 
autopilot, thruster controls, shift and throttle controls, your horn of course, everything you need up here, and then easy access to on both sides to get to the back end of the electronics if you ever need to get in and additional storage. To change the electronics or servicing. All right, let's keep going. One level down, let's check out the boat deck. You do have a camera here. Surveillance camera, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, let's go back to the boat deck. Yeah. really large boat deck actually. We have our steelhead marine 1500. And you can still set up sun lounges here or whatever, loose furniture, whatever you would like to. Your visibility back is really nice as well. Yeah, all the way aft. The only mm -hmm. thing that's back is the swim platform and that's it. Let's check out the engine room and, and crew quarters. Crew quarters. Okay, we're gonna go through this door. So the finishes here are different. It's finished in a different style, not the same wood that you see throughout the boat. Oh, look, there's a side gauge right away here. Yep, for a fuel tank. Oh, so you don't need to go far. But I'm kind of digging those those gauges we just saw on a different boat, right mm -hmm. by the... Fuel fill. Fuel fill, right? So you don't even need to go. I think it's a brilliant idea. Oh, okay. So yeah, anyways, you have your side gauge right here from one of the fuel tanks. Okay, and then we come in in here, that's your crew quarters. So it looks like you have, uh, I know there's a captain on board, so let me check first if I can show you guys. Yeah, so there's a hanging locker here, quickly, and a little sitting space to be able to and hang out, a, have a computer here. You have a little crew mess here, so you have a microwave, a refrigerator. Yeah, yeah. refrigerator, microwave, sink, Lots tons of storage. of storage, storage here. I mean, it's just set up for one, for a captain, so that's captain's quarters. Yep, yeah, you get another side gauge right there. And you have an ensuite with an actual separate shower. It's definitely not as luxurious as the other showers upstairs, but it works. But plenty fine, still have the marble floor. Exactly, you do have and You know what we, we, what we missed here? What? What did we miss? The lazarette area. Oh! Wait, so tell us where we are now, because I think it gets confusing. This is midship? No, that's all the way aft. Here's our lazarette with more pumps, sea strainers, shore power cables, Vectron inverters, and our hydraulic steering. Look at how beefy that steering looks. And then we have dramatic air-conditioned units, which are frequency drive, so they're a little more fuel, effic uh, fuel efficient, a little more energy efficient than the old school chiller systems. And of course we have a little bit of noise here because we have pumps running from the air condition, fans are running, more storage here. The captain has access to both right from his quarters. Correct, so now let's check out the engine room. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna go through the head. Yeah, open it, other way, to the right, to the right, turn to the right. suited to be a captain. I'm afraid to like push doors. Let's go. What the hell does that look? <laughs> okay. Oh wow, this Walk is really the nice. Room. That's a lot of headroom here. Yeah, that's that's a great size engine room. I think you also gain a whole bunch of space here because you, you have all that equipment in the bow, that whole room there that we saw. Lots of equipment, yeah. <laughs> Who turned this on? What is that? I don't know. Yeah. No? Some kind of pump. You don't know what it is? Well, that's loud. No. So engine room. We have two northern light generators, a larger one with 38 kW and then this one here, slightly smaller, 25 kW, just probably the night generator. So you don't need as much air conditioned power at nighttime like you do during the day. So then we have two main engines, which are John Deere engines here with each 375 horsepower. Both of them have a ZF transmission attached to them right there and then the hydraulic pumps on both engines. Speaking of hydraulics, the bow thruster has 50 horsepower, the stern thruster has 38 horsepower. Is that a lot, a little? I mean on a smaller boat that's your main Oh <laughs> main okay, engine. got it. <laughs> Super clean engine room. I'm looking around, get side glasses again for the big fuel tanks which are mounted outboards. There's another one with Victoria standing. You can nicely read your fuel reading there. 
and then we have another shift and throttle control here which i've never really seen actually in the engine room it's kind of cool if you do any kind of service or maintenance work like that, that that's a great idea for? yeah because if you have to throttle up your engines for example you don't need to run to another station or whatever you have a station down here ah. same our start and stop button for the john deere uh, engines and then the little John Deere monitors as well, if you want to go through them. Then we have fuel filters mounted right there, and then all the manifolds. And look at uh, how neatly clean the manifolds are labeled here. So you can shut off or open valves fairly easy. The access to the engine is great. What is this thing? That is a pretty large C strainer. That's what I thought. Actually, it's a one with a selector valve. That's really cool. Okay. So you have a selector valve for the C strainer. You can just change it over to the other side, clean your strainer, and then flip it back as you're going. You don't need to shut your engine off or anything. I'd like to put it on record, I found something really cool. Yeah. And then we have our exhausts here, our mufflers, and then it goes all the way around here until it goes and disappears over there on the wall. And it's a wet exhaust, so it goes just right overboard at the stern. I like how you just brush through that. It's kind of a big deal, no? Is it like, it's not a normal thing for Nordhaven, right? Um, Nordhaven has the option. Um, yeah. Some of the Nordhavens have a dry stack exhaust yeah. and um, some have a wet, wet exhaust. This boat is outfitted with wet exhaust. And there's also a sink here. You didn't mention that. I know there's stuff in there. Yeah. But there's a sink with a workbench, so pretty cool. You can wash your hands and, and stuff. And an immediate little toolbox here. Mm -hmm. which, um, I mean, in a proper engine room, you've got to have a little work area. The headroom is great. The walk-around space is great. Solid engine room. Really nice. I agree. Alrighty, you guys, this completes our full detailed tour. We made it before the rain got us. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in the North Haven, we will put their contact information in the description underneath the video. Please continue to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Please continue to double comment. You guys are the best. I try to read every single comment. I do my very, very best, and I respond to a lot of them. I'm waiting for your line. Okay. Oh, my oh, line. Oh, your yeah. line. You also, stole it. Let us know what you thought about the not having 80 hole number one. Uh -huh. And enjoy the outtakes. I have nothing to say because you said it. Enjoy the outtakes. Ciao. <laughs> it's my line. So, do we do this at all then? Yeah. No. The, no, because. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Good little area here to be able to. Mm hmm. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's do it one more time. That was bad. Two, three, no? Two. Oh. Two. Three, three. So, this is. I thought you were gonna turn the shower off for a second. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> I only slept three hours last night, you guys, trying to finish the video for you all. So, bear with me. I'm a little bit out of it, I think. <laughs> They're really not a nightstand. They're almost like. Um, what is it? What is it called? The, the, the thing, like the drawer. Um. Yeah, I can't think of it. Oh my god, sideboard kind of. What? No, not sideboard. Um, yeah. The cabinet, yeah. What's it called? I can't come up with it right now. There's no madness. Ma medicine cabinet in 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 the mirror. Interesting. Oh, this they is a nice pantry. They put um, a vent in here. No, a grill. Or whatever. This well, it's not the same thing. It's a grill. Got it. Um, how do you call this? An um, alley galley? No. Gal um, Galley style kitchen, you call it in the houses. No, but in the houses, you also. Galley style kitchen, because it's galley like on a boat. That's okay. what you call it. This is a galley style kitchen. <laughs> a galley style galley, is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. All right. So we have. What's this here? It looks like a. Looks like a microwave, microwave but okay. how does it open? Oh, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. There's something. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> Say again. It's just locked? It is. I think it's locked. Can it be locked? Or is it just that hard? Oh, wow, I'm so scared. I'm so scared to... Man, you men don't care. Oh, hello, ghost. Okay. <laughs> but I think you also gained a whole bunch of space because a lot of your equipment was all the way forward, right? Aft and forward. Not aft. All the way in the bow, there was a whole bunch. The bow bunch was there. All the way forward, just there. Really? 
Yeah, obviously. I'm so, co I'm so confused right now. Hold on. Oh, yeah, exactly. Okay. There's our door. Why are you making faces? Okay, yeah. You but do you read every single comment? No. Nope. I do. All right. Okay. I also edit the videos. Yeah, she is. <laughs> and take the music. the music. I'm pretty fabulous.